Kelsey Ballerini with Peter Pan on Out of Your Point when the Hawk Binghamton's number one for New Country Hawk Morning Show. Glenn and Tracy Glenn on vacation in Nashville. I would say that I'm flying solo, but I'm not. I'm very happy for the first time ever to welcome my husband Jay to the studio. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, my little boy John is in here. And John, here, come over to Mama. I wish we had a webcam in here because he likes buttons. And so, <laughs> so we're literally chasing him this morning, trying to prevent him from... Hello. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> we're trying to prevent him from touching the buttons. Let's try that again. John, can you say hello? Hello. Can you say hawk? Hawk. Good job. Hello. <laughs> what is your name? Can you say John? John. Are you here with Mama? Can you say Mama? Mama. And can you say Daddy? Daddy. What else do you call Daddy? Do you call him Honey? Honey. One day I was trying to get Jay's attention and he wasn't listening to me. And, you know, in typical wife fashion, I was like, Honey. And the baby heard it. And so ever since, he calls his Daddy either no. Daddy or, or Honey. <laughs> he is eating up this microphone. It's absolutely adorable. We want to talk about the Binghamton Devils logo, their new logo. And we'll do that in about 10 on Not At Your Point When The Hawk. Cole Swindell and Dirk's Bentley Flatliner, Not At Your Point When The Hawk. Binghamton's number one for new country. It's the Hawk Morning Show. Glenn and Tracy, you might be able to hear my little guy in the background. I'm joined this morning by my husband, Jay, and my son, John. Uh, my husband and I were talking about the new Binghamton Devils logo. Now, I know we usually let Glenn handle all of sports talk but my husband is a huge sports lover so we were we were talking about the logo i like it i was a little surprised it doesn't seem as uh maybe ferocious as logos in the past mm. yeah i mean it's not as mean looking what did you think of it jay i thought it was actually very detailed i mean even down to like the visor from the helmet uh -huh. i mean that's been mandatory since 06 so that's a lot of detail that went into that logo yeah they definitely put a lot of thought into it when i first looked at the logo i have to tell you i thought it was a scar around a man's neck <laughs> and she's like you ding dong it's not it's a devil's tail that's right oh my goodness <laughs> and I didn't even realize about the visors I mean I watch hockey I guess I just don't really don't. that's because your view of hockey is more like no don't hit it please don't <laughs> instead of paying attention to the tiny little details the Binghamton Devils have released their new logo it is definitely family friendly and if you would like to see a picture of it you can do that at nottingwhenthehawk.com Old Dominion song for another time. On 98.1 The Hawk, Binghamton's number one for new country with the Hawk Morning Show. Glenn and Tracy joined this morning by my husband, Jay. And how about this alligator in Whitney Point? That's just crazy, right? I know. It's like a sighting of Godzilla. I know. You never think it's going to happen, and then it does. You're like, wait, what did my eyes just see? I mean, when people were sharing the photo on Facebook, I was like, there is no way that this is legitimate. I thought that for sure that it was Photoshopped. And I know that there were some photos that that were going around of the alligator that were photoshopped. Somebody photoshopped the alligator in Rec Park or something, but it wasn't even, It was. I don't think that was even photoshopped. I think that was actually taken off of a YouTube video, but it's amazing how many people bought into it. So what happened over the weekend, if you missed the news, was that the alligator was actually captured. So this thing was for real. It was captured by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation at the uh, fairgrounds in Whitney Point. The Broome County Fair is going on right now. That terrifying me. Yeah, and that morning they actually had a petting zoo. So it's like horses, cows, sheep, and then, hey, let's have a gator. So if you're wondering what happened to the alligator, it's been placed permanently at Animal Adventure Park. So if you want to get your eyeballs on this thing, you will be able to do that. Right now it's in quarantine. It's got to be checked out and stuff. But the alligator will be available for everybody to lay their eyes on. And this was not a, a tiny little gator. I mean, it wasn't super huge. It wasn't like full grown, six foot, eight foot. But it was, it was literally the same same height as my two-year-old. Three inches. Three feet, three inches. So glad that uh, they caught it, though. So glad. Not a your point when the Hawk Binghamton's number one for New Country, Florida, Georgia Line with a cruise. Hawk Morning Show. Glenn and Tracy this morning. It's Tracy and Jay, my husband, came in today. You uh, probably hear a little voice in the background. That's my son, John, who is trying to... We've locked him into the studio, and he's using his daddy's car keys to try to escape. <laughs> he loves keys. Another thing that John loves is music, and when I was telling Jay that we've got a 
Oktoberfest coming up, the Parlor City Oktoberfest. He got super excited. You went w- went online right away. What, what was it you were looking for? I was looking for Little Hosen. Little Toddler and Little Hosen. Do you know, explain what that is in case somebody doesn't know? I mean, basically you take overalls, just give it some German flair. Yeah. And that's pretty much a Little Hosen. Uh, yeah, he got like so excited. I didn't even tell him the details of the Parlor City Oktoberfest and he was already online looking for them. He's like, we have to dress up John. We have to take him because the Parlor City Oktoberfest is a family friendly event. It's happening Saturday, October 14th. It's all day. You don't have to feel obligated to go from 11 until 8, but that's how long it's going. It's going to be a mountaintop grove in Vestal, and we are going to have authentic German food and desserts, entertainment, ethnic bands, dancers. There's uh, going to be games and activities for the kids, craft beers for the big people. Super excited about this. I mean, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, um, but we have been researching the price of, say it again because I can't say it right. Ladlehosen. Ladlehosen. We've been we've been looking at the uh, the price of Ladlehosen and dressing John up so that he can uh, <laughs> go be a little German boy. And uh, he's actually German on both sides of our family, which would be adorable. And he loves... Hello. <laughs> so if you want to learn more about Parlor City Oktoberfest, tickets are just $10. You can pick them up right here at our studio. Studio 59 Court Street in Binghamton. You can pick them up at Mountaintop Grove or you can uh, buy them for $11 at 981thehawk.com. 98.1 The Hawk. <laughs> Thank you to my little guy for that. This is Jason Aldean. Take a little ride on The Hawk. Glenn and Tracy in the morning. Binghamton's number one for new country all day at work. 98.1 The Hawk. That's Thomas Fred and Marin Morris. Exciting morning for, for us this morning because um, in the studio we've got my husband Jay and my son John. All the time I'm always talking about the things that surprised me the most when I became a mom. I don't think I've ever asked you. So what was the biggest change in your life for the thing that surprised you the most or the thing that you missed the most of your life before becoming a dad? I think all of them can be wrapped around one word and that's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't get sleep in our house. Just legitimately, we do not sleep. I, I get an average of three hours of sleep. I think Jay gets about four hours of sleep a night. And I was telling my mom just about being so tired. And she said, well, the good news is you're starting to get older. <laughs> Thanks, mom. And then she said, and the older you get, the less sleep that you need. <laughs> like, that doesn't help me right now, though. No, it, it doesn't. <laughs> I want to sleep now. I know. But he needs to sleep. I know. And John doesn't. He just he doesn't sleep. People all the time are saying that they they get tired just watching him. We had friends who, who came to visit from Philly over the weekend. And John literally ran outside a restaurant for about two hours after we had dinner. So you would, would have thought with a full belly, he would have been tired out. And, and he wasn't. He actually didn't go to bed until almost midnight on Saturday night and then he was up at six o'clock in the morning and he's like let's go i'm ready to go you're at workstation all day every day binghamton's number one for new country not here point when the hawk with kenny chesney and all the pretty girls hawk morning show glenn and tracy glenn on vacation today my special guests this morning are my husband jay and my son john my husband and i work opposite schedules and it's hard i w- you would agree it's it's hard it's very hard it's like who's the stranger next to me i know i know and it's sad but we're doing it for our son we're doing it because the price of of child care is, is astronomical. We're doing it because we want our little boy to grow up with one of us with him at all times. And we're not in a financial situation where, where one of us can um, just stay home. We both need to work. And it's hard. So we do a lot of stuff together. We really value our, our weekends together because that's the pretty much the only chance that we get to, to see. Who are you? Who? What? <laughs> what? Who's this man across the studio from me? The days of the nine to five are just, they're gone. They don't exist in anymore and, and I feel like someday our grandkids they're gonna be like Grandpa Jay what's the nine to five work day I feel like you're gonna be like oh it's a relic of a different time well even when we were on vacation that was the one thing we saw literally the town just shut down at five o'clock or at six o'clock the town that we vacation in in Canada the stores don't open until nine or nine thirty everything shuts down during the week at, at like five and that is so that the families have a chance to spend time with each other and then on the weekends they don't open until ten o'clock in the morning on Sundays so that people can go to church and everything shuts down at 4.30 or 5 on Saturday or Sunday. So it's kind of tough if you need to run to the grocery store and it's 6 o'clock you have to wait till the next day. But I feel like they're doing something right. Something that we can learn from. The station listen to you all day at work. Binghamton's number one for new country. Not to your point when the hawk and little big town. Better man. Good morning. I've got my two-year-old in the studio this morning. Do you have anything that you want to say? 
Say. Say. Because he's getting ready to go home, aren't you? Dog. It was an early morning. He's done. He's been so good. Done. Done. He's done. He's telling you that he's done. Did you want to say hawk? Oh, no. Oh, no. We don't lick the microphone, John. <laughs> My child who likes to lick everything. So John and his daddy going to get ready to go back home. I've enjoyed having them in the studio with me this morning. I, I miss them when they're not around. So what did you want to say, John? Have a day. Oh, have a day. Can you say have a good day? Have a day. Have a day. Can you say thank you for listening? Thank you.